So I'm going to teach you how additive synthesis works with Wave Generator. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure how to record from an iPad screen. Maybe I'm just too lazy. But if you want me to do a higher quality version, I'll do it for you. So, I could use Addictive Pro, which is a better additive synthesis app, but the Spectrum Editor on Wave Generator is great. So, I really think people should be moving on from subtractive to perhaps CPU friendly additive synthesizers because you can in fact make any sound with the right amount of harmonics, whether they're harmonic overtones or non-harmonic overtones. The simplest sound in the universe is a sine wave also known as a fundamental. So, it, it has no harmonics, no overtones. The sine wave itself is an overtone because, I mean, it is a harmonic because it is a multiple of itself. Then we have the octave the perfect fifth, the perfect fourth, the major third, the minor third. You notice it's in G. I it's I can't memorize the rest of them, but you'll find a pattern in a series of harmonics. I'm just going to show you the harmonics because a lot of synths synthesizer sounds, especially on subtractive synthesizers, are harmonic. And most wavetable synthesizers, like this one, are harmonic. So let me show you what using different partials can do. As you can see, there's actually a total of 64 partials for each oscillator, but I'm going to show you the first 16. As you can see, this is a sawtooth wave. A sawtooth wave is basically the synthesizer or harmonic equivalent of a rainbow. Just like the rainbow has all the colors of a spectrum, a sawtooth wave has all the harmonics of the spectrum, except that they are not in harmonics. Let's try other experiments with the waveforms. You got a fundamental, and let's do odd numbers this time. So one, whoops, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Then you got 13, and 15. Yep, that is a square wave. And a square wave has all odd harmonics of a spectrum. Let's bring them up a bit. Yeah, these are square waves. Now this looks more like square wave if I raise the fundamental. Let's... Let's take some of the harmonics off. And it sounds kind of more strange. What happens if you do even harmonics? This looks kind of like a sawtooth wave. 
Oh wait, I forgot this one. Yep. This looks more like a sawtooth wave because... I don't know how even harmonic can produce a sawtooth wave. Both a fundamental... It sounds very interesting. This is actually the reason a pulse width of square wave begins to sound like a sawtooth as the as it narrows down because in pulse width modulation the harmonics become more even. Now let's try with octaves. We got the fundamental, the octave, then the perfect fourth. Notice that it begins to sound more like an octave. And just for fun, let's add some detune. Because when an oscillator detunes another, it kind of like does something with the harmonics. I'm not sure exactly what it does. Now let's see what happens if we do prime numbers. One, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. It sounds kind of like a square wave, but more like something in an FM synthesizer or remodulation would produce. Just for fun, let's try with multiples of nine. I mean, three. They're all G notes. With a fundamental added. This kind of reminds me of a toy piano. Now let's try with multiples of four. Kind of sounds bell like. And with multiples of seven, and the fundamental. This also sounds bell like. Now, final, last but not least, let's try th the fundamental and multiples of five. And now let's make it sound more dreamy.
Well, that might have been a bit boring, but at least I had fun with additive synthesis.